Welcome to the Solstice Online Demo Part 2. In this video I am going to show effects over time, which is something I forgot to show in the last video, a demonstration of multiplayer chat and also multiplayer trading. Okay, first I'll log in here quick. First I'm going to discuss effects over time. Examples of these would be a buff, for example, or a poison, or maybe eating some food. This lesser elixir of strength says that it will increase my strength by 1 for 30 minutes. Notice how my current strength stat is set to 10. By having the elixir as my selected object, I can just click equip and I'll consume it. Now I can notice a 1 added to my strength and also an action timer counting down from 30 minutes showing how long this effect will last. Now let's see a slightly different application of this. Notice how my health is quite low right now. By eating bread I'll be able to replenish some of my health, but instead of being replenished instantly, my health will slowly rise. This bread claims to replenish 3 hit points over 6 seconds. With the bread as my selected object, I just click equip and then I'll consume it. We can see in the action timers window the bread counting down 6 seconds. We can also see my health rising slowly over those 6 seconds. I'll eat another bread so we can see it again. Now let's talk about chat. I'm starting a new session so let me log in here real quick. As soon as I log in I can see that another player is sharing this cell with me. The character's name is Tamesh. I'll chat openly to this cell and see if someone responds. Yep, I got a response. Any player in this cell would be able to read text that's typed out in the chat window there. Of course, not all chat is meant for everybody, so we can also do private chat between characters as well. We can flip to the private channel which will filter out any other messages except for private messages between you and other characters. We also can chat as a group. We'll let Tamesh's character invite us to a group so we can see how that works. Okay, here's a group invite. We just click join group and then we'll automatically be added to his group. We can see the members of the group listed in the users window. The O next to Tamesh means he's the group owner, and you can also see it has our hit points next to our character name. Now I can chat with all of the members of the group. I can also click the group channel which will filter out every message except for messages from the group. Groups do have other benefits than just chatting. Groups can work together to accomplish tasks in the world. Experience from kills is distributed among the members of the group, as well as items and money found. Currently, item distribution relies on a round-robin scheme where one time one member will get the item and the next time a different member will get the item. But more schemes will be added soon. Alright, let's look at trading with other characters, because this is fun. I'm starting a new session again, so let me log in real quick. Alright, got my pal Tamesh here to trade with. I'll initiate the trade through a command. Once the trade is initiated, it's really easy to add items to the trade. All I have to do is select the item and click drop, and this will drop it into the trade. Either player can click accept to accept the conditions of the trade at any time, but any time the conditions of the trade changes, both players have to click accept again in order for the trade to go through. Once I have everything I want to trade dropped into the trade, and I also like what Tamesh has added to the trade, I'll click accept. As soon as Tamesh and I are both in an accepting state, we'll trade all our stuff. I realized I kept saying click accept, but the button is actually confirm, so click the confirm button. Alright, I think that'll do it for this video. 
please visit me at www.solsticeonline.net to leave feedback or get involved in this project. Thanks for watching.